We're joined by Langtree Meyer, live from Beijing. He is the founder and chief operating officer of Texas LNG. Langtree Meyer is on the China Trade Mission, which is part of Donald Trump's first state visit to China. Langtree, great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's President, a pleasure to be here. You're welcome. President Trump has complained about the trade imbalances. How does the U.S. trade imbalance impact your business? Well, our business, the business of Texas LNG, is to develop an LNG export facility to safely and efficiently ship clean, abundant, and cheap natural gas from Texas to China and the world. So the way we see it, this is a win-win. This is a win for China. This is a win for the, for the U.S. Um, uh, the U.S., uh, the, one of the major objectives of the administration is to have a more balanced uh, uh, trade scorecard. So absolutely, exporting cheap, clean natural gas to China uh, certainly uh, uh, helps that situation. But as I said before, it is a win for China as well. China is able to secure stable, reliable, low-cost, clean energy. Uh, and that's the, way we, that's the way we see it at Texas LNG. Do you believe that trade between the countries should be, in fact, exactly equal? Uh, or even? Not necessarily. Not That's, necessarily? That, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think there, there are other elements uh, besides trade. Uh, uh, and uh, in the case of Texas LNG, you know, our mission is uh, to, uh, to provide, it can be a, a, a force for, um, for, for generating economic benefits and environmental, environmental benefits for both countries. So there are always other factors other than purely the trade deficit. But in the case of Texas LNG, certainly uh, our exports will, uh, will be uh, favorable for U.S. Uh, trade deficit. How will it, your exports, in fact, help the Chinese people, Langtree? Sure. So um, China is a huge consumer of natural gas and LNG. It's the third largest LNG uh, importer in the world. And just in one year's time, demand for LNG in China has increased 40 percent. And demand in China is expected to double uh, uh, in the next uh, uh, 10 years. So uh, this is positive for China. China needs clean natural gas. Natural gas is the cleanest burning fossil fuel. Uh, it's, it's much cleaner. It displaces some of the uh, dirtier, polluting fossil fuels, such as coal. So this is a clear uh, environmental benefit uh, uh, for China and, and able to, to secure, again, abundant, low-cost and stable supplies from the United States. I believe in a recent interview, Langtree, you described yourself as an environmentalist. And with that in mind, tell us your thoughts exactly on the U.S. being the final country not to join the Paris Climate Accord. Mm -hmm. So, well, I, I consider myself an environmentalist because uh, we are proliferating the use of natural gas. Again, natural gas is the cleanest fossil fuel uh, by far. And so if we can displace some of the dirtier forms of, uh, of fossil fuels, such as coal, we are doing a great service for the environment. We're doing a great service for the people. We're doing a great service for, for China and the world. How quickly do you expect um, China to begin benefiting from companies like yours? I'm sorry, could you repeat? I was just going to say, how quickly do you expect China to begin benefiting from companies like yours? Oh, China is already uh, um, importing vast amounts of LNG, um, and the, the benefits are already starting to, to accrue. Um, the Chinese government policy uh, is looking to increase natural gas in the energy mix. Um, there's been a push to, away from using uh, coal to fire broilers and replace that with natural gas. So this is already having a positive impact. Uh, on, on the environment. Um, you know, and from, from Texas LNG's point of view, I mean, we look at, 
we, we see Texas LNG playing a role to extend the prosperity of the, the Belt Road Initiative. Um, it's a win-win for countries. It's a win for the companies that are involved, whether uh, uh, Texas LNG, the other, comp other companies that uh, uh, are involved in the construction and uh, supply of services. For the people, it's generating tremendous amount of jobs, and it's, it's good for the environment. Well, Langtree Meyer, we certainly enjoyed our time speaking with you. Thank you so much.